Hi, my name is Jules, a college student taking up business and tech in Ateneo, and here's a day in my life as an intern. And if you want to learn more about my internship and the learnings along the way, stick till the end for a Q&A. Good morning, everyone. It is April 18, and join me as I drive to work from QC to Taguig during rush hour. So it's gonna take me like two hours. That's why my phone is already hooked to the aux cord. Wish me luck. Also, my hair is in these curlers, and I'm not sorry. You gotta do what you gotta do for the bangs. Okay, let's go. Finally arrived to BGC. It took me two hours and more. I think two hours and 15 minutes to get here. I just sparked. My makeup is like all melted na. I'm so thirsty. My lips are chapped. Like Manila rush hour traffic is insane. But yes, I'm so happy I made it safely to BGC. And I have a 9 a.m. school meeting to take in the office. So Ah, it's 8.45, so join me. I will take my walk and let's go and get the bread. My hair is so messy. <sighs> I'm so tired and my day hasn't even started yet. I have to keep moving my car, by the way, because I don't want to pay too much for parking. Like, I'm just an intern. So every two and a half hours, I have to move my car so that I don't get charged yung succeeding hours. Call me Karipot, but my co-intern does it also. Shout out, Angela. <laughs> so I will follow her lead. Anyway, let's, let's go. I made it to the office and now I have a meeting. So I'm gonna set up my stuff. And also, I'm very hungry. That drive really sucked the life out of me. I'm gonna have a snack. This is really good. So. I don't know, like we might be flagged or something. Sweet, because I'm gonna do this is rap. a day in my life vlog of a lasagna. I have to do it. Say hi. You can say hi. I don't have space on my phone. <laughs> that is every girl's struggle. That's why I have a vlog cam. Because if I use my phone. I want that. Where'd you get that? Okay, everybody. We're walking to Salad Stop and it's so freaking hot today for some reason. Sorry. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, JD. This is JD. Can you send me the footage? I'm gonna make this a vlog then I got it. Like, I'm not... Love it. You're gonna post it. You're gonna be on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Featuring an affiliate from Lazada employee to Laz affiliate. Oh, no. <laughs> it's giving character. The though. pipeline. It's giving financial freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, this is my first time eating in Din Tai Fung. <gasps> and it's so weird because like, we're, like, we're like kids here and they're like very corporate people. We're I'm young. Driving. We're 30, flirty. No wrinkles. <laughs> we're giving youth in BGC. Okay, now we're gonna move our cars because we don't wanna pay for parking. Yeah. So yeah, and it's so hot again. 
Let's go. Right. I feel like a KTV is like the Day in the life of BGC interns. Oh my gosh, my guys. God. <laughs> yes, JD's with me. We're gonna switch the car around. And you know, I'll just let Angela go first. I think you can, you can. I should know. Oh, he's waiting for you. So you can, you can. <laughs> I'm with my driver. Wow! <laughs> my pro driver. I'm on the UB driver. <laughs> I recently I'm trusting my life. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't know why you're coming with me. Oh, JD's coming with me. Huh? Amazing. You pay 100. Oh no! Four minutes late. Again? No, dude. I mean, I was two minutes late. And but how do I get to feminine? It didn't work this time. Maybe he's oh, gay. Sorry. Maybe he's gay. I mean. <laughs> Now time for the Q&A because I really want this video to be valuable, informational, educational, if you will. So I will get into it. So first, let me explain what my role was. I was under affiliate marketing, specifically business development. So we had a lot of events, we talked to lots of KOLs, aka the fancy word for influencers, key opinion leaders. And most of my job was influencer management, so if you need a girl, I got you. How did I get the internship? So I basically got it from a job opening in LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn. Let's connect if you want. Just let me know if you're a watcher or something. Yeah, LinkedIn is basically like the go-to to advance your career. I don't post as much though because I get shy to post things, but I think you're not supposed to be shy to post things. Like you should always update your LinkedIn so that employers or fellow colleagues um, know what you're up to in terms of your career. So as for the setup, this internship specifically was hybrid. So some days we're on site, some days we're online. It also depends on your negotiation with your managers, your team, and HR. Right now, I think one of the top things people ask is, is this internship paid? And for me, it was, thankfully. How long did I stay in this internship? I stayed for three months, and I was also taking it alongside 21 units of class, so I was actually kind of dying every single day, but we survived. <laughs> now, to the important part, did I enjoy? Yes, I actually did enjoy. There were so many things, like events, people, that I wouldn't be able to go to if not for this internship or I wouldn't have been able to meet certain people if not for this internship. Of course, there were admin tasks, there were like menial tasks which are always part of the job and that I kind of struggled through so I just always motivate myself with a playlist or a podcast so that I can get my admin work done. How did I manage both school and my internship? And I guess my answer to this was Google Calendar. So I generally like had full days. I'd always put my time schedule and I'd let my manager or my boss know what my schedule was for the day or for the week. And know your load also, know how much effort to give, choose your battles. I turned down a lot of organization opportunities because I would genuinely die if I still took on more. So. Okay, so now on to challenges. So what were the challenges? Of 
of the internship. So obviously there was a learning curve at first, but we got through it eventually because I was working with a partner as well, my co-intern. So I was okay, like adjustment wise. I think a challenge for me also was the commute since I live way far from the office. Like the commute is crazy as you saw in the vlog. So that really sucked the life out of me every single time I had to go to the office. I'm so sorry for the barking noises, but I just really want to finish this video. What were my expenses during the internship? Obviously I had to pay for parking. So as you saw, I was literally like moving my car every two and a half hours so I don't overspend for parking. We also have the occasional coffee. Yeah, that was like kind of an expense. Um, I wanted to treat myself to coffee anyway. So I tried a lot around the BGC area. Sometimes the interns and I would eat out. Sometimes I'd bring my own lunch so that I can save on money. So it really depends on you, like what you vibe with, how you want to spend your money. Anyway, that was all for this video. Thank you so much for sticking till the end if you did. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, thanks for watching.